Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to drop a very, very short piece of content uh, just to share some thoughts uh, on Arsenal's uh, pre-season friendly victory over Nuremberg. The Gunners coming from 2-0 down to eventually win by five goals to three. We had a bit of a helping hand, a couple of own goals uh, from the German side, but there's one player in particular that I really, really want to talk about. Not at great length, you know, as I say, this is a very short uh, kind of piece of content for you guys to consume. And we will probably dig into some of the other player performances in the coming days as we continue to reflect on the game and, and try and take some learns away from it. Now, it's not always easy to do that from these preseason friendlies. It's not always easy um, to kind of make or draw that many conclusions. I think a lot of the time you're talking about players with varying fitness levels. You're talking about players who are yet to find their rhythm yet. You're talking about unsettled teams in terms of the lineups. You're talking about mishmash formations. It's it's difficult, to, as I say, to come to too many conclusions from a game like that. But I just wanted to touch on Gabriel Jesus. Now, we all know that Gabriel Jesus is a great striker. We've all seen him in action in the Premier League and we've all seen him do it, um, you know, at the highest level. You know, he's, he's performed for Manchester City more often than not. He's performed for Brazil uh, on numerous occasions as well. And he's made a real reputation for himself there as well. So when we signed this guy for £45 million, we all knew that we were getting a top player. But there were some rumbles. There were some discussions around what exactly he would bring to the team and if he is the right fit. You know, people reference the fact that Gabriel Jesus has played a lot of his football out on the right-hand side in recent years. And that old story from Tim Vickery keeps going around. You know, Gabriel Jesus told Tite that he doesn't want to play through the middle. We've heard it all a million and one times. And so I wanted to do a quick little video to talk about what I saw from Gabriel Jesus in that preseason friendly. Now, again, with context, I know it is a preseason friendly. I know that it wasn't against the strongest opponent. And I'm not for a second suggesting that we should be all, you know, out on the streets partying at the fact that we've got Gabriel Jesus and that he is the saviour or the messiah, whatever way you want to put it. Um, but look, I, I did notice a few things and, and I think it became very evident very quickly, actually, why Mikel Arteta went for this guy um, and what he will bring to the team going forward. Now, it's not going to work every week. He's not going to score every single game. And I'm not even saying that he's going to get more than 20 goals next season. I can't guarantee that. But what did I see from Gabriel Jesus today that gives me encouragement? Arsenal actually have made a very, very good decision in bringing him in. What did I see that I wasn't seeing with Lacazette, that I wasn't seeing with Aubameyang, and that I don't see all the time with Eddie and Ketia? So what is it that Gabriel Jesus brings to the party? So I thought his movement was excellent. He came on at half time against Nuremberg. And I thought he was really kind of quick to make an impact in terms of getting into the right positions, getting into the right spaces and all different types of spaces. He popped up on the inside left at times, inside right through the middle, which is where ultimately you want your centre forward to be most of the time. I think he really comes alive inside the six yard box. There was times and you only have to reference the two own goals where his sheer presence there contributed to those own goals being scored. And, you know, you didn't always get that from Lacazette. You know, sometimes he'd drop deep and get involved in the build-up play, but would he then be able to turn around and continue making that run and get into that position from which he can make a difference? Probably not. Now, again, I'm not singing Gabriel Jesus's praises for the fact that Nuremberg scored a couple of own goals. But if you look at the first one, when the ball comes across, Schindler knows that Gabriel Jesus is making that run. He knows, he looks inside him and he can see the Brazilian is occupying that position. And I talk so much about occupying centre-halves as a striker. I think that's a really important part of your role. And you saw Gabriel Jesus do exactly that. Just by making that run, just by drifting into that space, he forces Christopher Schindler into action. He forces him to try on the stretch deal with that cross and he ends up putting the ball in the back of his own net and then you look at the second own goal where the ball uh, came back off the bar I think and ricocheted off of a defender who then turned around and tried to clear it only to find Gabriel Jesus standing in between him and the goal and ultimately preventing him from getting to the ball and, up, and then the ball rolls in so Gabriel Jesus's sheer presence in the six yard box causes problems Again, I know who we were playing. I know the context of this match, but I was just really watching him closely in that second half. And I wanted to kind of understand 
what we're going to get from him maybe that we didn't get in the past. So that occupation of the six yard box and that kind of surrounding area is something that Gabriel Jesus brings to the table that we haven't had enough of in recent times. I think his ability to run the channels was clear to see as well today. Again, I know who the opponent was, but, you know, there was a, a couple of occasions early on in the second half where he'd spin his man on the right hand side and drive forward. And he's got that ability to turn on the burners, to take the ball um, with him, to cut in and out and weave inside people. And he's got this tenacity and this drive to get into the penalty area. And there was one occasion where he did exactly that, spun on the halfway line, burst down the right wing, cut inside one player, drifted inside a second and almost made his way to the penalty spot before getting a shot off. Uh, but of course, he was closed down. But again, that intent was there. The way he pressures people, I saw him lose the ball a few times on the edge of the opponent's box, but immediately sort of revert to pressing and, and trying desperately to win the ball back. And he just causes an uncertainty. But that energy that he brings to that forward line is infectious and it gets other people going. It, it kind of sets the tempo. And, you know, Lacazette did it at times, but only in short bursts. And Ketia did it towards the back end of the season quite well, but I don't think... He's got the quality that Gabriel Jesus has when he wins the ball back in those areas or when he finds the ball at his feet in those types of positions. So I think he gives us that added quality. But I think everything he brings, tenacity, movement, pressure, intensity, all of those things can be infectious. And we we really saw that in the second half today. Now, you know, I know, again, I've said it a hundred times, but I'm saying it because I know people are going to be in the comments going, why is he going big on Gabriel Jesus today? I'm not. I'm just trying to highlight what I saw from Gabriel Jesus that I think has been missing from this Arsenal team for a while in that centre forward position. Why did we go out and spend £45 million on a player who's out of contract next summer? Because in our eyes, in Arsenal's eyes, in Mikel Arteta's eyes, this guy was the perfect fit. And so watching him now for the first time in an Arsenal shirt, I wanted to establish, you know, what it is that he brings to the table that they thought was such a good fit, such a great fit. And actually, there are a number of things which I've just pointed out. So I'm really pleased with what I saw from Gabriel Jesus in his first Arsenal appearance. It took him just a few minutes to open his Arsenal account, not the official account, of course. Uh, we'll have to wait till the season starts for that. But good to see him getting off the mark very quickly. Um, you know, both of his finishes were, were very good. Strikers finishes, the first one coming in at the far post, angle against him, but having that composure to look at the situation and, and suss out that you need to hit the roof of the net to stand the best chance of beating the goalkeeper from there. Did that brilliantly. And then, of course, the second goal, lovely movement again in towards the near post area, picked out excellently by Gabriel Martinelli. But again, he recognised that he needed to lift it to beat the Nuremberg goalkeeper. He looks like a, a seasoned finisher. He looks like someone who's confident. He looks like someone who's going to enjoy being the main man. Um, and you could tell, despite it being a preseason friendly, that he was really desperate to make an impression. And he did that today. So it's only added to my excitement. It, you know, whatever happened today was never going to completely change my opinion on Gabriel Jesus. But what I saw today and the fact that I saw things that have been missing from this Arsenal front line for a while gives me a lot of encouragement that we probably have gone out and got the right man and fingers crossed it continues and fingers crossed he can translate that level and form into the games that really, really matter. Thank you all so much uh, for joining me for this very, very brief video. Thank you to those of you who joined us for the watch along earlier on. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. And we'll be back very, very soon with more Arsenal content. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.